Putting a high efficiency air filter is sometimes like putting a band-aid on an axe wound. Hi, Ken from ASI, the white glove guys. So what do I mean by that? Do allergy filters work? Yes, in some instances they do, but in many they don't. And here's the point I would like to illustrate for today. If you look at how a home is built today, this would be your average house, and this is certainly an awesome diagram. What winds up happening when a home builder builds a house, the single most important factor for most home builders is making money. So your health, safety, comfort, oftentimes is a very distant second. If you look at how a house is built, there's walls and we run wires down these walls. Whenever we run a wire down a wall, we have to drill a hole in the top plate. And this top plate is what separates the attic from the rest of the house. Well, we got several walls in our house, which means we got several holes. Little areas where wires, plumbing, electrical, all run down the wall. So what many people do, if they have a furnace in their house, maybe it's in a closet, in a garage, some are in attic spaces. What people tend to want to do is they put a high efficiency filter in to eliminate pollutants from the air. Okay, but what happens is when the system turns on, oftentimes your house is in, has a negative pressure on it because of duct leakage and a variety of other reasons. Well, what, what happens then is all the polluted air, all the little bit of pollutants, they make their way down the walls through light switches, through switch cans, and all these different areas. Sometimes you even have ceiling cans, like people have uh, many of them in their ceiling, these little light cans to light up the rooms. Well, for many of these light cans, you can actually get in your attic and look down and actually look into your house. These, when you add up all of these holes from all of the um, wiring, all the plumbing, these various holes, the average 1,500 square foot house winds up with a hole about the size of a hula hoop. So it's like having this giant hole right in your ceiling, okay? So now we go out and we buy a high efficiency air filter. Well, as we circulate the air, we start removing particulate. But at the same time, more pollutants are coming down the wall and into your house through all these various points where you got holes, okay? So now I just wanna kinda of give you a boat analogy here. If this was a boat and I had a hole in the boat, what would you do? Would you buy a new, a new bilge pump? Bilge pumps pump water out. Well, the single, probably the smartest thing you could do is fix the leak. And that's the same thing that's going on right here. We're using an air filter to remove the pollutants. Well, if we don't let the pollutants in the house to begin with, we wouldn't have to remove them or we'd have to remove a lot less. So much like a boat, the first thing we do is come in and seal the leak. Your attic space should be considered to be part of the great outdoors, not part of the inside of your home. So if you look at your house and say, well, here's my duct system inside of my attic, the inside of your duct system should also be regarded as inside the home. So if we seal up all the leaks in our ductwork, we seal up all the leaks in our ceiling cans, all the penetrations, we, well, essentially what we do is we completely separate the inside from the outside, okay? Now our high efficiency air filter will be far more effective because we're not allowing, just like in the case of the boat, water coming in while we're pumping it out. We eliminate the pollutants coming in so that there's minimum amount of pollutants left in the air and now our filter will be far more effective. Thank you, appreciate your time today.